Can I just say, what is the point of me going to a salon and paying 75 ringgit for a hair wash that looks like I just did it myself at home? And the shampoo, sejuk gila babi bodoh, it was mentholated but on steroids. Jin Yip, what are you doing? Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to another episode of The Risha Report. So this auntie basically crashed a live streamer's stream and said this. Singapore is very safe, but you don't want to get raped by Indians yeah yeah that's a, a weird welcome to singapore now i'm not sure what this woman does for a living but i'm pretty sure that she won't make a very good tour guide right so on the left you will see the singapore flyer singapore is very safe but you don't want to get raped by indians now on the right you will see the uh, malayan now it's a very safe place singapore but remember you don't want to get raped by indians and now welcome to little india the heartening thing was that Singaporeans came together to let her know that this is not acceptable, not cool. So you can say that Singaporeans collectively came together and gave this woman a very nice, happy racial harmony day. Now, of course, this woman's actions were inexcusable, but at least she did not try to mask her opinions as facts, which is what this Hua Chong Institution staff member tried to do. By all accounts, this was supposed to be a sexuality education session, but it also included some homophobic and bigoted claims against the LGBTQI plus community. This is problematic on three main levels. First, what is the source of all this data? Yeah, you can throw numbers and statistics, but where are these numbers coming from? For example, I could give you some data as well. 100% of Hua Chong Institution counselors talk cock during sex education classes. But is it accurate? The second problem here is intent. Now, were these numbers just given for you as an audience to make up your own mind? Obviously not. As you can clearly see from the heading, it says, what are the LGBT so proud of? That's got a very, very clear, hostile and homophobic tone. And lastly, the problem with this are the consequences. The harm done by such a clearly discriminatory talk by someone in a position of authority to vulnerable teens is something that we need to consider here. Many folks from the LGBTQ plus community are ostracized and bullied and subjected to all kinds of violence based on their gender expression and sexual orientation. That can be emotionally and psychologically damaging to anyone. That is an unfortunate reality. and You don't need me to give you data about that. So maybe the real issue is not this. Singapore is very safe, but you don't want to get raped by Indians. Maybe the real issue is Singapore is safe never know when someone might try to impose their bigoted views on you. That's what you gotta be careful of. 